The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE Intercontinental Championship. Oh, it is time to defend the this title. This is going to be good. The sad wild man accompanied by Darius Angel making his way to the ring. For Sal Wildman, ladies and gentlemen, yeah, with the it. up with the left right left right champion Darius Angel. One of the most anticipated matches in ages. The Intercontinental Championship is on the line. It's been a long time coming, and these men will do whatever it takes to capture the prestigious Intercontinental title. This is a man who makes the most of every opportunity, and this is his biggest opportunity ever. Oh, oh, oh. are you guys ready? Nightmare Mac accompanied by Cody Hagen. He is the Intercontinental Champion and Cody Hagen is the WWE United States Champion. After the Royal Rumble on Monday Night Icons, Cody Hagen will be defending. As a reminder, the title is on the line here in this match. And the champ is certainly going to have an uphill battle. That's for sure. Nightmare Mark is defending the championship title before the Royal Rumble. And Cody Hagen will be defending his title, if not at the Royal Rumble, after on Monday Night Icons. We will find out. Introducing the challenger from Auckland, New Zealand, weighing in at 181 pounds, Fox Sal Wildman. And introducing the champion from Every Man's Nightmare, weighing in at 273 pounds. He is the WWE Intercontinental Champion, Nightmare Man. Who's gonna lay claim to the workhorse title here tonight? Well, he shows the title to Fasad Wildman and to everybody watching Friday Night Legends here on the LBI Universe. History attached to the Intercontinental Championship. So much weight attached to this match. Yeah, but right now it's all about living in the present, in the now. That's the only way the champ's gonna get out of this with his title in tow. Taking this match off the mat now. First Irish move. Ooh. Very well executed. What's he gonna do next? Another one. In the middle of took a gamble once, took a gamble again, and hit the jackpot twice. Clearly waiting for that. Ooh, something new space. smash. That looks painful. You know, I have to ask Corey, how much of an actual strategy is there in a no disqualification match? Honestly, it depends on the superstar's mindset. Some just want to get through. 
Others want to inflict as much damage as possible, and some just go with the flow. Know which mindset you have before the match and stick to it. He's ejected from the ring. He's outside the ring now. Yeah. Hope he's got a plan. The champ now absorbing a little damage. He avoids the damage. Uh-oh, this is not going to end well. Power bomb. Three. Goes under the ropes to get back inside. Really just hold on a second. Could be a uh -oh. I think he's got it. Nice escape. He counters that. at this point has got to say something. Oh, no. There we go. You know what's coming Look at the torque. I have no idea how he hasn't tapped out yet. All the heart, all his desire being put to the test. And he lets him out of the submission holes. Could have been a strategic move to wear down that body part for something bigger later. Oh, the knee just being torn apart now. Clock. It is in and it is deep. It's not embarrassing to tap out. He'll save your career. But his will to win is simply too strong. No, he lets him out. Yeah, I think he knew. The champ is down. Title change. I can feel it. One, two. The champ, no. Wow. The champ kicks out. How is he still in this match? By the skin of his teeth. And the Mac really trying to retain that title. Reversal, can they go on the attack? Suplex. German suplex, but that's not all. Now a pen for the championship. One, two. Kick out and the title fight continues. I mean, you got to think, he's just one final blow away from not kicking out next time. Keeping the 
championship dream alive. That's how much winning this title means to give everything you've got. I don't know how much you can have left after that, but you've got to be impressed. That move has brought victory before, but not on this occasion. Might be time to think outside the box. Taking flight. He misses the target. Short flight, but a rough landing. Oh, flipping the script on him there. Seizing the momentum here. It's starting to come together in a big way for this guy. Slam! Oh, target in the arm. The challenger is in some big trouble. Might want to walk it off or shake it off or do whatever he needs to do to get his head in the game here. Uh oh, position in. Oh, that's to his head open. Now, this is just a ruthless attack. Such aggression. Get him into the corner. We strike and now Bulldog. But he reverses. Gosh, what a match. There's the cover. And Nightmare Matt retains. Awesome victory for Nightmare Matt tonight. Let's watch the replay. There is a. It's going to be hard pressed to see a better match than that. Here's another look. So ladies and gentlemen, you might have thought Nightmare Matt would lose this match tonight, but as you can see, he was ready for Fatal Wild Man. So please like, share, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel, LVI Universe, so you can continue to follow up the Intercontinental Champion. Here is your winner, and still, the WWE Intercontinental Champion, Nightmare Mac. And with the results of this battle plain to see on their face, at least they can say they won the match. I don't know if I'd say the battle scars were worth it, Cole, but I will say the one who did it to them isn't the one celebrating right now. So let's continue with some more action here on Friday Night Legends.